with the um, just, uh, Mr. Fraser, in relation to your your opening statement, uh, you refer to a transition away from resource invest, resources investment to broader based sources of growth, and then you make a particular comment about um, our terms of trade, uh, reduction in oil prices, falling Australian dollar, easing of monetary policy, should support consumption and demand, particularly in export oriented and import competing sectors. Uh, I, I notice you make no no comment there about. Uh, trade deals that are being negotiated by the government, a number of bilateral and uh, plurilateral deals that are under negotiation. Does, does the Treasury do modelling of the economic impacts of these trade deals? In it? Okay. No. no, we haven't done any modelling of the economic impacts of the free trade agreements. So there's no... You, you don't factor them into your models at all in terms of... Well, just because the macroeconomic group in Treasury hasn't done so doesn't mean that there's no work done ac across government. Obviously, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade uh, takes a leadership role when it comes to uh, the uh, negotiation of uh, trade agreements and to do all of the related works, uh, work in relation, in relation to that. So I think I, you'll I, find the best place to pursue some of these well, questions might be... Sen the Senator Department Coleman, of Foreign I, I Affairs understand... And trade. As you well know, I, I will certainly be asking them the questions. I'm, I'm sure just fascinated will. as to why those that work that you claim has been done around trade deals hasn't been fed into Treasury, who obviously provide the critical analysis, macroeconomic analysis. Well, we've analysis. got a very coordinated uh, and integrated team effort across the whole of the government, and uh, you know, not, you, you don't have each area of government double up on what other areas of government are doing. You you make sure that you share the workload in a way that makes sense. So if you share the workload, then presumably you've been out spruiking the benefits of these trade deals to the economy constantly, uh, yeah, and yet indeed. we've got no detail at all about what modelling's been done around Well, that's the not potential. right. I mean, if you're asking the questions in the wrong committee, I can't help you, Senator, but oh, like... Sen Senator Cormann, I, I take offence to you saying I'm asking questions in the wrong committee. I'm asking the, tre the head of Treasury whether the Treasury have any assumptions about the impacts of the so-called free trade deals on our macroeconomic co economy going forward, particularly given the political emphasis your government has put on trade deals. I think it's a really simple question, and, and I've got a simple answer, and I thank you for that.